Jingle jingle, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden at the holiday season. I'm Jenny and we garden and celebrate Christmas here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today's project is to put together this one of a kind, unique, personality filled wall hanging, which celebrates the winter season. Come with me and let's see how I put this fun project together. Okay, friends, I am going to use this natural branch that I took off my wood pile as part of my interior home decor this season. And what I want is it to look like it has been snowed on. So I have some of this self-adhesive snow bond flocking. This comes in a big uh, bag full of this dry, dusty material. You can see how dusty it is. Um, and this is what you use to flock a Christmas tree. So anytime you buy flocked trees or garlands or anything like that, this is the kind of stuff that they used to make it that way. And I bought this big, huge bag four or five years ago, and I've used it every year since then, and it's still more than halfway full. So plenty of flocking to last me for a very long time. Um, I have in the past flocked Christmas trees for the sunroom and uh, this year I'm just going to flock this branch. The way to do it is you get your tree branch or your Christmas tree uh, wet all the way across and then you use a simple sifter like this and a spray bottle and you put this material in the sifter, you spray and sift and spray and sift until it looks the way you want it to look. So I'm just gonna get after it and get this branch nicely flopped. I'm really loving the way this looks now. It looks like it has been sitting out in the woods and snow fell on top of it. I thought I would give you a closer look at this product. It's sold by a company called Peak Seasons Self Adhesive Snow Bond Christmas Tree Flock. It's flame retardant, it has a bunch of warnings down there. Um, registered and approved by the State Fire Marshal of California. And it looks a whole lot like cornstarch or flour. I think it's finer than flour, actually. I bought it a long time ago, um, four or five years ago, and I don't exactly remember where I got it, but I'll try to find it again and put a link in the description of this video down below. So this definitely has to dry at least a couple of hours, but I think overnight is a better um, answer. I've put that on pretty thick and it's very wet right now. And if I touched it, it would make um, fingerprints and I don't want that. So I'm definitely just gonna leave it here on the garage floor. I'm gonna cr close the garage door and uh, it'll be undisturbed overnight. And then I'll come back and complete this project tomorrow. See you then. Welcome back. It is the next day. We have a beautiful day outside. Nice, cool, but sunny and um, no breeze. So it's very comfortable to be working outside today. So that's good because I would like to finish this project. Now let's take a look at how the snow dried overnight. Okay, I haven't touched this since we left it yesterday. So let's see. Good. No fingerprints. Excellent. So this whole thing is ready to be used in my decorating. Excellent. Okay, we are going to attach stars. The ones that I made, these are the string stars that I made recently. And these stars, which I made five or six years ago out of twigs 
and paint and hot glue and vase filler sparkles. These are going to hang down from a monofilament um, line off of this branch at varying lengths and varying distances from each other. And then it will become a wall hanging in my downstairs sunroom. So let's get this project underway. You know what? Let me go get my microphone so the wind chimes don't overpower my voice. For this project, I thought about a lot of different ways that we could attach the stars to the branch. And um, I thought about just tying them around the branch and letting them hang. The reason I don't want to do that is because I really don't want the snow effect of the flocking to be disturbed by any sort of lines that get wrapped around there. I want it to look like it's just um, you know, fresh snow on this branch. Why do we think fresh snow inside our house hanging on the wall makes any sense at all? I don't know. But anyway, this is the look I'm going for. So we're just going to, you know, let that fly. Okay, so I don't want to wrap string around here. So then I thought, well, I guess I need to tack or glue or somehow attach the strings to the backside of the branch and let them hang down from that. So that's why I was thinking about hot glue. I think I'm just going to hot glue the hanging strings to the back side of the branch. And um, I thought about using thumbtacks, but I don't have any thumbtacks for one. And two, I thought as this branch dries out, the thumbtacks might actually fall out. And hot glue was here and seemed like a reasonable idea. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Now, I don't know how many of these stars I'm going to put on here, and I don't know how this is going to go. This is a lot like some of my other craft projects where I kind of start with a concept and then I just wing it through there and see if it works and adjust as needed. Don't we all craft that way? I hope we do. I hope, I hope I'm not the only one who kind of just makes it up as you go along. So I'm just going to reorganize my work surface here a little bit. I suppose I should start by telling you what kind of tools I've gathered for this project. I have my stars. These are the string ornament stars that I made in a video a couple of days ago. Now I have here glitter spray that I got at the craft store and I tried um, to glam these up a little bit by spraying them with glitter and I did one. And so can you tell which one of these has been glittered and which one of them hasn't? This is the one that got glittered. And this is the one that didn't. But to me, the one that got glittered looks dingy now. And the one that didn't get glittered looks brighter and fresher and the silver is more sparkly. So I don't think that the glitter adds anything and I think it actually makes it just a little bit less pretty. So I'm not gonna glitter the rest of them. So I'm not going to end up using this. Okay, so I have my stick stars that I made. Again, this is just sticks. Hot glued together in the shape of a star, painted white, and then with, um, this is vase filler little acrylic crystals. Oh, and I guess I threw some glitter on there too. So that's all those are. I have an assortment of sizes, and I have an assort a smaller number, but an assortment of sizes of the stars, uh, the string ones as well. I've got a hot glue gun. This is a high temp one. Um, I have some scissors some wire cutters, I have some silver wire, and I have this um, clear nylon string. It's really difficult to see, which I'm counting on the fact that that'll be nice on the wall. This is made for jewelry making, called Transite VP, eight pound by 100 yards, 100% nylon. So this is what the stars are going to hang from. And the wire is how I'm planning to attach the branch onto the wall. I am going to have to put the wire around uh, the branch on one end. I th Actually, you know what? I might try hot gluing the wire onto the back and see if that will, you know what? I don't want to risk it. I will wrap at least one, probably just, hmm. This is how I roll, folks. All right, so the silver wire is for hanging the branch. I'm going to wrap some around here and I'll wrap some around here. And then I'll put nails in the wall and wrap the wire around those nails. Kind of like the way I hung that gold ring wreath the other day. And that's it. That's all I have here. I need to decide what's up and down, what's left and right. So uh, this will hang on the wall, something like this. I think that is going to be the front, like that. And so that means that 
this is going to be the back, kind of this edge right along here. So my project, I'm going to first check and make sure I'm not ruining my flocking. Yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to set this on the table like that. So now um, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue on strands of this filament. I'm going to make them all about two feet long and then later when I'm putting the stars on them is when I'll trim them to the size and shape that I want. And I'm going to just kind of spread them out kind of evenly across here and then I, if I end up not using one of them um, in the star installation step then I'll just take it off. Cut some off. And I'm just gonna start gluing it on. I'll just do it over here just for ease because this is where I'm standing right now. So just a little dab of glue. And then just put this in there. To hang this on the wall, I'm going to use this silver crafting wire. Uh, what gauge is it? 26 gauge, so pretty lightweight. I'm going to wrap it around one on this end and one on the other end, and I'm going to um, twist it, and I'm going to leave a long tail, and then the tail is what I'll wrap around the nail that goes into the wall. Um, I'm aiming to have the back side on the wall be roughly where these glue spots are, so I'm going to leave the wire so that the tail is right here. That's good enough. That's a nice long tail that I can wrap around the nail that's going to go on the wall. And this will be able to hang from there as well. Now I'm going to put a dab of hot glue here just because I don't really want any chance of this wire coming loose or falling off or slipping around or anything. I'm just going to let that dry like that. I'm just going to do the same process over here on this end. All right, now the branch is ready to hang, but the stars are not on it yet. And I am really going back and forth in my mind about how I want to do the stars. Um, one option would be to lay the branch down on the floor and then lay out the stars up against the strings and then attach the stars with hot glue onto the strings. Keep it on the floor until all the hot glue is dried and then hang it up on the wall. That might be what I do. Another way to do it would be to hang the branch right now and then on the wall do the hanging of the stars and hot glue them on that way. The problem with that is that you've got to stand there and hold each of the stars until its glue is dried before you can let it go and let it hang on the string. The benefit to that is that you're not working on the floor, which is uncomfortable for me anyway. Um, I thought about maybe uh, just shoving this back to here and doing the project on this table. Um, and I might do that um, to avoid having to kneel around on the floor, but I'm just worried that that's not gonna give me the best look at how the stars are laid out, but it might be pretty good. In fact, that will be pretty good. If this, if this branch is all the way back there, then the stars will be like right here or up in here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, thanks for coming along with me on my crazy adventures inside my brain. Now I'm putting these upside down because this is the back of the hanger and so they're going to be facing a different direction so I don't want to hang them facing up. I want the 
front to be facing down right now. I'm just randomly put these in, putting these in here. I kind of spread out the big ones from each other, but the rest of them are just, I'm just filling in spaces at this point. You might have a more pleasing way to do it, more balanced, more artistic, I don't know. This is just how I roll. All right, I have 19 stars and 26 strings. That means I might be able to add in a couple of snowflakes into here as well. All right, so I'm just gonna assess this arrangement and do I wanna move anything around? I think I have more of the stick ones over here, so let me pull this one there. And by the way, this is gonna have to adjust a little bit just because where I laid these stars, I don't necessarily have strings coming down. So if I have to shift outward or left or right to uh, align with a string, I'll just have to do that. So for example, over here, I've got a string here. I don't have a star laying here because my table ran out of space. So um, in fact, let me do this. There we go. So now I'll be able to use this string on this star, for example. And look how much extra I gave myself. That's wonderful. Okay, so let me just start gluing. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to find the nearest string, pull it down, and find the nearest star. Now, why I'm not tying these is because, one, nylon thread is hard to tie. It's hard to hold its um, knot. And two, I don't want the stars to hang crooked. I want them to hang kind of straight up and down. So I'm actually going to glue them in two spots, one at the top of the star and one toward the bottom of the star so that they hang perpendicular to the floor, parallel to the wall, if that makes sense. All right, I need to hold that in place just long enough for it to dry a little bit. But this is way better than holding it up on the wall. Good to do this project on a cool day outside because the glue dries faster. All right, I have all this extra string here. I can just trim that off with my scissors. And same over here. Okay, same process. This string is gonna go with this star. You know what, I'm gonna skip this one because I remembered I have 26 strings and only 19 stars and I really want this one to be more over here. So I'm gonna use this one. I've got all of my stars glued onto strings on my branch. I have, I think, six, is that right, 19, 26, seven. Seven strings left over, except I cut one off, so maybe six strings left over, something like that, um, that I could either cut off and not use, or I can put a snowflake on them uh, once I get this hung inside. But I'm not gonna know whether I wanna do that until I get it inside and get it hung up. So that is the next task. The wall that I'm going to be hanging this on is 80 inches wide. So I need to see how far apart my wire hangers are and then figure out where to put the nails on the wall. So I 
that's 55 inches, so that leaves 25 inches on the wall. So 25 divided by 2 is 12 and a half inches. So if I put my nails on the wall 12 and a half inches from either end at the same level, I should be able to hang this up on there without any trouble. So let's go see if we can do that. To hang this branch, I'm going to be using the same galvanized roofing nails that I've been using for my other decorating projects this season. The reason I like these is because they have this nice, really wide head that I can wrap my wire around and it won't pull off. So this is a great tool to have. Now on this wall, you might be able to see there are already holes all over this wall that we've been living with for six years and we haven't done anything to patch it yet. And I even have nails in here from Christmas five years ago that I haven't taken the nails down. So um, I'm not at all worried about putting holes in this wall, even though it's stucco. It's already full of holes, so it doesn't matter to me. All right, so. truth. Perfect. Yay. Thank you. All right. So now I just need to arrange my stars. Okay. So they seem to be den denser over here and less dense over here. So I might cut off one or two of these and move them over there. Um, I also am not sure if I'm going to be doing snowflakes or not. I have to kind of look at it and live with it and see what I think. So what do you think of my star branch flocking weird art project? Um, I am really happy with it. I hope that you had fun watching and I hope that uh, this project inspires you to do something unusual in your home, uh, whether it's taking branches and tying things to them or something else. I don't know, but use your creativity. Use the things you already have in your crafting stash. Use the ornaments you already have in new ways, like I'm using these stars in new ways. I don't know. Just let your imagination run wild and turn your home into a beautiful place that reflects you and your personality. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in another video really soon. Bye, friends.